Welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting 360 camera. This is going to be the Insta360 ONE X2. Before I went again into the video, I want to take a second to say thank you to my friend Drew, who let me actually borrow this camera. I had about a week or so to play around with it, kind of test it out. Uh, one of the things that I am going to be trying to do is use this channel to kind of get into more automotive review, uh, more car review, more specs, stuff like that. So by having the right gear, it's definitely going to help the channel grow, build awareness, and hopefully I can use that to leverage and get an allocation for the Porsche because at the end of the day, that's the end game. I want to use this uh, channel to fund one of the hobbies and one of the hobbies that I do have is cars. Also, uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you for taking time to check out this new video. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up uh, for doing so. Here is a picture of Sky. Another thing is if you see me on the phone throughout this video, I have the actual 360 set up. So some of the shots that I'm going to be recording are going to be from the 360 camera. That way we can get a comparison. My standard camera that I use is going to be the Sony uh, ZV-1. That's the camera I mainly use right now, but I want to just get a comparison as well to the 360 camera. So let's get into it. So what I have is the ultimate kit. This has a lot of extra peripherals that come uh, along with the 360 camera. I have it here, it's out of the box right now. Uh, this isn't necessarily a review since I haven't had it for too long. I just wanna kinda get this uh, camera, the information about this camera, what it comes with uh, as a comparison um, for you guys. So what's actually in the box? Well, in the box, you actually have the X2 camera. I have it attached to a uh, stick right now. This is kind of an extending, extending stick. Uh, so you can actually get some nice range. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna turn on the X360 camera so that way we can have both videos going simultaneously. In the box, you also have a lens cap. This is kind of, it's kind of an odd shape, but you put this over just to protect the lens of the camera. You have two lenses uh, on both sides of the camera. So to get that 360, um, I guess 360 degree field of vision, what it does is it takes both angles, both, uh, both sides of the camera, pitches it together. That's how you get the stick because the stick is usually in the middle. So it crops out the stick because you have one end, one end, puts it together and then whatever's in the middle doesn't get seen. So you have this cap to kind of protect your lenses that are on both sides. It also comes with a premium lens guard, a micro SD uh, card, which is already in the uh, camera, an invisible selfie stick. You guys just saw that a bullet time cord. That's kind of a cool feature. Uh, I'm going to include a video of what you can do with that. Uh, so this is the cord right here. Um, also has a fast charging hub that's kind of convenient because you can have up to three batteries in here it comes with two batteries one obviously is already in the camera and you do have an extra for backup um, I didn't really time to see how long it would take to charge these batteries so that's gonna probably require some further testing it also comes with these two things that are called coach shoes uh, these are more so for a microphone if you're going to have an additional mic attached to it. And last but not least, you have a charging cable. This is USB type C charging cable. And you have, this is going to be probably for an aux. Uh, if you do have the mic, again, this is going to be what you're going to use to connect it. And you have a quick start guide. You also have a little pouch here, which is kind of nice. I would probably use this to keep the camera if I'm gonna be using it on a travel basis versus this. Uh, the pouch is actually gonna enclose. You can actually put the whole camera in here, like so, versus using this one where it only covers the camera part. One of the cool things about this camera is it is uh, waterproof, so you can actually submerge this up to, uh, let me get that information. 
Another good thing about having a uh, 360 camera is you can just set it. You don't need someone to actually like point and shoot at you. So if you don't necessarily have someone else with you that's kind of getting a shot of you, if you, let's say you're making videos like so, I have one camera right in front of me. I don't necessarily, I can put a 360 camera wherever and I can still get the shot that I need because it captures everything. So getting a little up close and personal with the camera, uh, you have it here. On the side here, you have your batteries. It's, you have these two little clips you have to just push up and down and then the battery comes out like so. Again, I don't have the information for the full um, recording time, but I will have that for you guys in the description below. And right here you have the USB uh, port. Uh, it's very simple, pretty rudimentary. You also have a power button right here to turn it on and off. Um, this is gonna be your mic port. And that's really about it. Not a lot to it. Uh, you have a button right here. This is, you hit this whenever you're ready to record. Um, the interface is actually pretty simple to use. Um, I just turned it on so you're gonna see it right there. A lot of it's gonna be swipe based. The frame rates that are going to be available for this uh, 360 camera, you're going to have 5.7, uh, 35, 25, and 24 frames per second, 4K at 50 or 30 frames per second, and 3K at 100 frames per second. I kept it at the high setting, which is 5.7 at 30 frames per second. And these are going to be the videos that you're going to be seeing uh, from the 360 camera. Runtime at that highest uh, frames per second resolution setting is going to be 80 minutes. Uh, apparently, it's long enough to last on one battery. Obviously, I didn't really kill the battery, but doing a little bit of research, you're going to get about 80 minutes worth of use um, from a single battery. Another thing to note is in case you don't want to edit your video or do color grading, there are different color modes on this camera, which that's kind of convenient too. I usually have to go back and Final Cut Pro and kind of tune in the colors uh, based on my Sony. So with this, it kind of already does a little color grading for you as well. Not to mention, this is also going to have a camera. Uh, so if you're using it for photos, you can do that as well. I probably wouldn't use it to take photos. You probably, your phone, I would guess, would probably do a better job of that, but that's another option that you can do if you want to use it as a camera. I mentioned earlier it is waterproof. Uh, you can go down to 10 meters without any issues. They do offer a case that you can buy and that's gonna actually allow you to go further down if you're deep diving or something like that with this 360 camera. I think it's also important to note the app that this 360 camera comes with. So you can just use the camera as a standalone, transfer everything over. So, but I would probably recommend using the Insta360 app Reason being, you can see everything that you're doing there. Everything is there. You also have a lot of cool kind of features, um, kind of different ways that you can shoot or effects that you can actually add and set up using the 360 camera. And a lot of these are actually really cool. So if you're actually gonna buy this camera, I definitely, definitely recommend getting the 360 app and checking that out just for the effects alone. So overall, there you have it. There's a quick little intro or display of the Insta One X2 360 camera. My phone is going off, Instagram is going down right now. But there's a quick little uh, display of the 360 camera. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm trying to get more into reviews. I have another speaker coming and there's a little customization part of it, as well as some other home items in the, on the way as well for review. Uh, hopefully we're going to keep going with these tech reviews. I want to tie into finance stuff as well, but good things are on the way. What do you guys think about this camera? Is this something that you can use for, I don't know, your setup? I'm considering adding this as part of my car reviews, maybe attach it to the top of a car because the different angles that it provides, it's really going to be nice. Even possibly potentially putting it on a bike.